Um, this is Dr. Rutledge, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit this morning about a recent article that was published in the uh, Surgery for Obesity and Related Disease Journal from the American Society of Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery. And uh, it's interesting because it's some of the longest term follow up from the European studies in the lap band. It's uh, from a group that's in Basel. Was that Basel? Basel, Basel. Switzerland? B A S A L. B A S E L, Basel, right, okay. At the uh, <coughs> hospital there. And um, basically, they. Basically, they report on um, their experience with the lap band, and they pointed out that uh, bariatric surgery is a rapidly growing discipline. There's a lot of uh, people that need the surgery, and the idea was that several years ago when the lap band appeared, it it's appeared to many people to be kind of an ideal solution. Uh, very simple to place, very low risk, um, none of the malabsorption and vitamin and mineral problems that we worry about with uh, gastric bypass. Um, reversible, adjustable, so it seemed to have all these benefits. Um, so they adopted it in Switzerland um, uh, in 1996, so you know, quite a while ago. Um, and they used it in about uh, 308, 380 consecutive patients through the year 2004, and that's what they report on as their results. And to summarize the big and important findings and briefly is by five years in follow-up, 39% of their patients had their band out. And another about 10% had failed with inadequate weight loss. And so what they did is something called a Kaplan-Meier survival curve. And they do this with cancer patients and things like that. And they look at how long you follow the patient, how many people are failed, and then you can kind of predict the long-term outcome. And this is called the Kaplan-Meier survival curve analysis. And when they did that, they found that the prediction at 10 years is that all bands will have failed or come out. And so, uh, based on that kind of rather dismal um, finding, they went ahead and canceled their use of the lap band. Uh, and, and as we like to say now, they abandoned the band. And um, so this article is just published in this month's uh, journal of surgery and obesity-related diseases, and I think it's another concerning finding with the lap band. For those of you who are considering the lap band, we think it's worthwhile that you look into this. The title of the article, if you want to look it up, is Predictors of Outcome and Treatment of Morbid Obesity by Laparoscopic Adjustable Gastric Banding. The results in a prospective study of 380 patients. And the lead author is Wollnerhausen, and it's in the Surgery for Obesity and Related Diseases, number four, 2008, pages 500 to 506. <laughs> what?